continuing coverage of a deadly crash in Chesney. It happened Friday, forcing Chesney High to postpone their football game with Landrum. That game will be played tonight. Students are continuing to deal with their grief, losing friends and classmates. Our Elise Devlin is joining us live now at the school. And Elise, I know this won't be a normal game, will it? Amy Gordon, as you can imagine, a very emotional day here at Chesney High School for everyone following this weekend. And about an hour, the community will be out here together to watch the rescheduled football game against Landrum, where every player will have this sticker on their helmet that says Chesney Strong. Outside Chesney High School on Monday, the American flag is at half staff with a growing memorial of flowers at its base. Nobody ever expects anything like this to happen and we don't really know how to respond. We're just doing the best we can. Pastor Gary Grogan spent the day at Chesney High School alongside other pastors, helping students cope with their grief of losing multiple classmates. There have been some kids that uh, that are very emotional. There have been other kids that uh, that uh, to me, when I look at their faces, they're kind of lost. Uh, maybe that they don't know the words to say. I don't know if anybody knows the words to say. They don't know what to think. They're, they're, they're trying to process everything that's happened. Since the crash on Friday night, students have hosted candlelight vigils and other gatherings. It's something Pastor Grogan says shows how they are getting through this tragedy. Chesney is, is a close-knit community. It's not just in this time of tragedy, but of course, whenever something like this goes on, it, it brings people together, and it's really been very encouraging to see that happen. The Spartanburg County Coroner says the car was badly burned. His office is still working to properly identify the victims. Until then, School District 2 says they do not wish to make a comment. Now, kickoff is here at 730, but district officials say they have a couple things planned before the game starts to honor those whose lives were lost. Live in Chesney, Elise Devlin, 7 News. Elise, thank you. 7 News, of course, will continue to follow developments at the game tonight, and we'll also be covering the tributes to the students who died. Make sure to stay with us for those stories tonight at 10 and 11.